Hey guys, Baba Tundomotao here and a lot of people have been asking me, most especially people that use Watch 6, have been asking me why is their mActive app not working. So in this video, I'll be sharing with you reasons why they are not working and the solution to it. Without taking much of your time, let's get down to business. So number one reason why your mActive app has not been working is the location. If you are not toggling on the location when you want to connect it, it's likely it won't connect and it won't work for you no matter how you try. After you have on your Bluetooth and try to connect it, please remember to go to the setting by swiping down your phone and hit the location option. Toggling it on will make it to be able to locate your device. Though this does not apply to all mobile phones, but there are some specific phones and my phone also does that. And if your MRTF app is still not working after you have on your location, Let's go to the reason number two. The reason number two why your MRTF app is not working is the Bluetooth. This is what I mean. Check the Bluetooth of your smartwatch and the Bluetooth of your smartphone. The Bluetooth of your smartwatch uses two Bluetooth. And Bluetooth of your smartphone has two settings just like your smartwatch. But on the smartwatch, you have to on your Bluetooth power and your Bluetooth visibility. These two things are required so that your MRTF can work well with your smartphone. So check your phone and check your smartwatch if they are both on and visible. Try and make use of your MRTF app and it's going to work. If not, let's go to reason number three. So the third reason why your MRTF app has not been working is the display over other apps. If you do not toggle the display over other apps setting, then it is not going to work. You will not be able to get notification and get alert once you sync it up. So first thing you have to do is just to go to your settings, go to your app and notification. When you select that, select the special app access. Select the display over other apps. Find the MRTF app and select it. Once you select it, toggle the option allow display over other apps and once you are done, you are good to go. And you can now try the MRTF app and see if it's connecting and working properly the way you want it. Another reason why your MRTF app is not working is that you are using an outdated version. Yes, it could be an outdated version. If you don't update this regularly, once they roll out the new MRTF version, then it's just going to be dormant. So what you have to do is this, go to Google Play Store and download a new one. First of all, uninstall the first one that is right on your smartphone and download the new one. This will help you to sync up properly without issue. So if your MRTF is still not working yet, let's try the number 5 option. The number 5 option of reason why your MRTF app is not working is the Android version. This boils down to the phone that you are using to connect. What I'll ask you to do is to find another phone, probably another brand of phone. Maybe you are using a Techno phone and it is not connecting or a Xiaomi phone. Please try using a Samsung phone to check if it's going to connect or use Umidigi or some other kinds of phone. And it could just be the Android version on that very phone that you are using. Try and update it and upgrade or you use another phone. Who knows? That could be the reason why it is not connecting since. In fact, my phone is in that and I just discovered that I have to use another phone, which is my second phone, to make this work. And if you have tried all these options and none of this work, please comment down in the comment section below and I'll reply you as soon as possible just to find a solution and get your MRTF app working. I remain Babatunde Omotayo and I'll see you on the next one. Stay safe. God bless you. Peace.